Well, Pool A, big match for Zimbabwe versus Holland. Zimbabwe really looking to qualify and go through the Super Six. And this is how they stand in the pools. Straight out right at the top, but Holland down the bottom. And as you can see, Zimbabwe, four matches played, and they need to up that run rate. And the Zimbabwean team, well, missing a major player today, one of the young flower boys. Andy Flowers playing, Grant's injured, broken, he's hurt a finger, and it's sad for him because the two Flower Boys have really been the mainstay, but he's streaked back in captaincy, and they look a good side. The Holland team, unchanged, Roland Lefebvre, the captain, leading his team, they feel it pretty well so far in the tournament, and at times they've threatened, they've done well against some of the major sides, and they'll be looking for a good performance again today. Craig Wishart to, to face the first ball. Edgar Schiffley will bowl the first delivery of the morning from the airport end to Craig Wishart. A little bit of swing. It looked as though it was going to drift way down leg and then came back with uh, through the air. Well, it surprised him. Surprised me in his shot too. If he never let it hit his pads, there it is here. It's going down leg. That's looking a wide straight away and looking to straighten up. Well, I don't know what he was doing there. Well, he's got one in the slot straight away. And Craig Wishart showed in the very first game that Zimbabwe played Namibia strong on that uh, big drive through the offside. What a cracking shot to start the innings flowing. Probably annoyed himself there to give me on the on the pads and didn't hit it. And here it is here batting out of his crease, right in the slot. Still have to find the gap. A little bit of swing there. Oh, and he didn't he like that straight up. And I expect Jerron Smiths to come up the stumps. He's, I notice he's batting out of his crease already. A little bit. Mark Vermeulen's going to have an opportunity to take strike uh, on the second. Roland Lefebvre, the Dutch captain, will. Have a go at him from the Matopas end. Roland Lefebvre, the Dutch captain who's been in the side for a long, long time. Oh. Wishart tumbles into that. That's what you wanted from the previous over, Dean. Wishart's obliging here. Width. You just can't bowl width on this pitch to me. Once you get it straight, it's a little bit more difficult. Lovely shot. His second drive, second boundary. And look at his balance. Look how still he is when he's whacked that. Oh, what a great feeling that is. Watch his back foot as well. Keeps nice and stable and still quality. And again, this one in much more in front of square. It's between extra cover and mid-off. So Wishart's taking this on. Sometimes when you're actually batting with a partner who's hitting the ball well, you've actually got to ask, ask yourself, why is he playing so well? It's his balance. All right, there's a ball that was in the slot. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Watch his foot pointing to where he wanted to hit it. That's where it goes. And placement was perfect. Very fast outfield here. It's uh, very nicely done indeed. Your man is open, boys. That's in the slot, it's on the leg side, and he hasn't missed out. Craig Wishart's uh, going to get into the 20s with this boundary. 22 without loss after five, Zimbabwe. He's ah! got the neck. Well, a wide delivery outside, off following the one outside leg, and uh, Craig Wishart is obliged. It was so wide, he got the toe of it, I think. Again, what a magnificent catch. High fives from everyone. Jerome Smith's there. He's been absolutely brilliant in this tournament. He really has shown a lot of courage for me and great hands. Here it was short. He just didn't get the back foot across there. Wishart gets a little nick on it. And what a great catch there for, for Smith's and a great breakthrough there for the Dutch team. Wishart's gone from 21 off 21. And that's 24 for one. Andy Flowers and Bobby's premier batsman's come to the crease. A magnificent innings against Australia three days ago, Andy Flo, on this very same ground. A strip uh, two away from where we are today. That's a good record. Huge weight of games. And the reason why he's here, 
ball that just floated away and he just got an outside edge. What a catch. Oh, fabulous catch. Exciting wicket keeping that is. Got his hands in, he's got wonderful hands. That's nicely driven. That could even beat the man on the fence. And it does. What a good shot. Well, Hulk from Mullen has been bogged down for a lot of the innings that he's playing here today. But how ironic. He's bowling to a 7-2 offside field. He bowls one on the offside and he pierces it with a beautiful shot. Good cover drive. Beats the man on the cover fence for four. It's in the air. On the backward point, that should run away. And we'll welcome boundary for Zimbabwe. Andy Flower offered with by Tim Delida on this occasion. Tried to keep the first one down, which he only managed to hit to first slip on this occasion, opening the face of the bat, getting it over the infield. With is going to be the downfall of these Holland bowlers. They're going to keep that man under wraps. They're going to have to bowl very, very straight. Bang, that's four more. Just too full. Now this is a beautiful shot. It's fuller. It's a little bit straighter. And the flower's gone forward. Punch this into the gap. He's opened the face of the blade just to ensure that it goes slightly squarer. Good position. Very good position when playing the shot. So that's four more to him. What a critical time for the Dutch now. They've uh, done well up until now. Be happy with the performance after 10, 12 overs. You just can't afford to let them get away. And uh, the captain That's these keeps is rallying that. right now. Big discussions. They've got to get it right to Andy Flower. And let him get away. This is turned around the corner. will be four more. Well, that's the third one. Runs coming at plenty now for Zimbabwe. Those shots all around the ground by Andy Flower. One square of the wicket and straight up and then the bowler tries to correct that try and give him no with holes at his pads you don't want to do that just a very good leg glance that's nicely struck that'll go all the way open the face angled it through there has been a great deal of difficulty for Mark Vermeulen in this innings. He's struggled to hit the ball to the boundary. On this occasion, playing a very good shot. Driven through the offside and Pat Face opening a little bit. Just ensuring that the ball goes through the gap. Yeah, I like his balance on that shot. Just too full. Well, you can't bowl that, not to Andy Flower. That's a help yourself delivery. Andy Flower getting a full toss on this occasion. Love to get that as a batter, just walk in, get a full toss. He obliges, hits it onto the leg side, just three fielders on that side. All the way to the boundary, four more to him. Takes him onto 21. Tell you what, he'll have his work cut out to this man. Immediately the reverse sweep, and immediately there's going to be a lot of pressure on him. Andy Flower, renowned for his ability to play against spinners, wherever he plays against them, very good. Gets ready for the shot really Come early. Again, this, on this occasion, the reverse sweep. There we go. Just touches it, ensures it goes the through the gap. The, go the, the outfield very fast. Hasn't taken long. Down the ground. And will bring up the fourth. It's good cricket. Early on in the over, pushing the man back. Creating pressure now. We did say that Mark Vermeulen would have to do this sooner or later. The bowling wicket to wicket at him. Mid on and mid off up. He's going to have to go over the top. He's done it on that occasion very well. Nicely set to play the shot and just getting under it. Getting it over the infield. Four more. 
Well, that could beat him and go again. That's four more. He kept the mid on him. He didn't push him back. He's paid the price. I dare say that was Lefebvre just saying to Mark Vermeule, and I've seen you do it once. I know that you've had difficulty throughout this innings with hitting the ball in the gaps, and you haven't really looked like hitting it over the top. Do it again so that I put my man back. He's obliged. He's hit the ball. It's gone past the mid on on his right, trying to hit it over the top. So Mark Vermeulen, who looked to be coming right, has just given Kloppenberg a wicket. Ball was too close to him, tried to get the late cut into the shot and only succeeded in chopping on. Welcome breakthrough for Holland there. This partnership was starting to dominate. They're very happy with that. It's a reward for some good bowling from Kloppenberg. He's got the ball in the right area. And there hasn't been much foot movement there. Just trying to run it to third man. That's it. He looks back despairingly. The keeper's happy. Why shouldn't he be? So that's the end of Emulin. He departs. Zimbabwe, 82 for two. Guy Whittle's come uh, at the drop of the second wicket for Zimbabwe. He uh, predicted that Dion Ebram might come earlier than him, but a, I would say a good call from the Zimbabweans here. Guy Whittle, who Hasn't done anything with a bat in this World Cup so far, but a good opportunity for him here. An experience of flower and now Whittle. This is why he's there. Mark Vermeulen really <laughs> getting a little bit of an off cutter, trying to play the late cut, always dangerous. Just chops it on. So a long vigil without too many runs. Oh, Guy Whittle's got a shot away through the offside. He'll pick up four here. It's very quick outfield and the shortest of the square boundaries. 88 for two after 20 Zimbabwe. Very straight run up here from uh, JJ Ismar. Often see left arm spinners as Guy Whittle's taking him on. That's a fine shot. It's the 100 up for Zimbabwe with a big one. 101 for two and Guy Whittle has probably sussed this out and over a go. Mid-off's back, but mid-on isn't. The first maximum of the, to of the innings. Guy just putting a foot down. Good, clean okay, strike. He doesn't even bother to run. He's saving those legs. Mid-on's up. It's a risk-free shot. Well played. There's a vacant area over Cowie Corner there, over Deep McWicket. That might be an area where Guy Whittle might be eyeing off. He is. Well... Didn't have to be Einstein to work it out. He was looking around, two bounces into mid-wicket boundary. Very good call, Dean Jones. Just before his bowl that you've called it and he's headed on, exactly where you're talking about. No oh, fielder yes. in that mid-wicket region. Woodall has employed the slog sweep, headed directly in the gap. Very good shot. No real risk involved. There's no field out there to catch you. It's a quicker one and well picked off there by Annie Flower. And that's his 50. Oh, 55 balls. Five boundary, raised his bat to the crowd. Fabulous knock here. Fabulous knock. He really has worked hard, hasn't he? He's just picking the bowlers off. It's been, he's hit his last boundary in the 17th over. But he's still carried on at round about a runner ball. Oh, it's in the air. It's a chance. He's getting under it. Oh, and he makes the catch. What a catch. That's one of the greatest catches in this tournament. A short ball. He's got the top edge. And Zyderen has taken an absolute screamer. So just when this partnership was going, Guy Woodall gets a short delivery. One that he thinks he can put away, doesn't quite get all of it, hits it high into the air onto the leg side. A lot of ground to make for the fielder. Zoderan makes it, gets his hands out in front of him and catches a magnificent catch. He's delighted. So will Holland. Guy Willow's got to go for 30. Zimbabwe 135 for three. Dion Ibrahim. He's come into this game now, well, mainly due to a wonderful catch. But there's his striker at 58.9. The highest score, 121. So he has to draw on that experience today and try and back with Andy Flair to make a big partnership. 
Ownership was ruined by one of the, the great catches of the tournament. It really was. Baz Zyderens took an absolute screamer down there. Had a lot of ground to make up the ball. Staying in the air quite a long time, but just before he got to him, was dipping. He had to dive forward. Always very difficult to dive forward. Guy Whittle very upset with that. He knows that this partnership was the one that was going to get Zimbabwe into a really good position. But they're delighted. And he goes after them again. It's a beautiful shot. Should get two. No, he hasn't. It's his first boundary in about 33, 34 deliveries. It's exactly what they wanted. And they won't back off the Zimbabweans. Now, this is an example of really good bat batting. He knows where the gap is. The field is set out in the deep. As a man, mid-wicket, he's a little bit too square. He gets down to play a very good slog sweep, but makes sure he puts it well in front of that man at deep mid-wicket. He's got a lot of ground to make up. Can't quite make it up, and it's four more to Andy Flower. Just working around the corner. They're looking for two. No, they're, oh, they're taking him on. Wow, shocking piece of fielding down there. Skolter down there. And they get two more than they should have. Well, he's having a look at the ground. He just can't believe what's happened here. Let's have a look at Skolter's the ground. Skolter's run in. The regulation, the ball's rolling along. A little bit of spin. Goes down and whoopsie. Just bounces up. Goes past his hands. Unfortunate. What it does is it gives Andy Flower two more runs. Instead of just one, he gets three. Yeah. It. Well, he'll take him on. Oh. Could have been close. Could have been nip and take. I think Flower might have been gone for all money there. So 32 overs bowled. 152 for three. A change of bowling. Stephen yeah. is in. The attack. Another quick single oh. taken. Oh, he's living dangerously right now. Yes, and he's pulled up again. Looks a bit uncomfortable there, Andrew. There's a problem you have sometimes when you've got a very, very quick runner and one who's uh, not as quick to judge the runs. As we see, he's gone. Gone for all money. You've got to judge your calling and you're running so well because Ibrahim's coasting, but Andy, he's struggling. Let's see if the camera stays on him. Watch him pull up here. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty clear, right Stringy. Then. Pretty clear. And they're going to throw to his end every single time now. Tim Delita back into the attack. And straight away, Andy Flower whips him away over midwicket. Well, that is a class shot from a classy player. This is just great execution. He knows where the gap is. And he's picked it perfectly. Yeah, great shot. <laughs> Pulled away in the air for a moment. It splits uh, midweek and mid on. And four ends to Dion Abraham. There we see it. Four ends. Shortish, Ibrahim onto it immediately. It's the strength of his, the short ball. Good execution. The glove in the air and out. Andy Flower's gone. That is a huge wicket. The Dutch will feel that back in the game after that. <laughs> the supporters are happy. And why shouldn't they be? That is a huge wicket. That could make a big difference to the game. Fine innings by Andy Flower. Brought to an end. By a bit of straightforward bowling and catching. Short of a length. Andy going at it hard. Slicing off the bat. Straight to number 21. Here's my good catch. And he's happy with that. So Andy Flower departs for 71. Zimbabwe 165 for four. As uh, Andy Blichner walked to the wicket, you just felt a sense of anticipation around the ground. Not mistaken, he got around 50-odd, 54, I think it was, in just 28 deliveries. Smashed them all over the place, and I think Zimbabwe will need something special from him again. And this is why he's there. The big wicket of Andy Flower. Just before drinks, in the air, and good catch.
Yes, and aren't the Dutch team chuffed with that? Big wicket. People don't understand this. For these guys, they go home and they, they remember who they get out. It's a big tournament for them. These guys are heroes. That's gone away. That'll beat short five leg. And it'll be four more. Ill-directed delivery. It's just drifting down the leg side. The favourite. It allows uh, Blickner just to turn it off his pants for Zimbabwe's 19th boundary. So they're rocking along. Gets it on the full. I just think they've got the wrong field here for Blicknote. They've set it on reputation. It's gone again. He's bowling the wrong line. It's nicely played. Just make sure you get a bat on it. And you just see a few heads going down in the field. They know they've got a wicket. Holland, they're on top here. It's just amazing what a couple of boundaries can do to a fielding side. They just feel like they're giving it away a little bit. You just think that maybe the bowler fancies a leg before. He's aiming at that middle stump, middle and leg stump. It's a fine shot. This man can play. That is full, and it's square driven. Why is he trying to play dink shots against the spinners when he can play shots like that? Gave him a little bit of width that outside off stump, and he's hit that right in the middle. Oh. How good's that look? Left-handers on one knee. Look at that. They they look such class, don't they? Oh, hasn't he hit that? Anything that's back of a length, he'll pull round on. If it's fuller, he'll let it straight. But this one, he's pulled round with the natural trajectory. Fantastic cricket shot. This is where they have to bowl Yorkers and bowl straight at the stumps here. On one leg, bang. Oh, look at the high grip he's got too, like Adam Gilchrist. And just drills it nice and flat. Oh, he's great to watch. His seventh boundary, 48 off 30 balls. He's just motoring along. It's going to go down fine to fine leg. Pick up a couple and he's going to pick up 50. It's coming quick time yet again. If you watch Andy Blicknot get away, he will never score them at worse than run a ball. Oh, he's good. He's made up 54 and 28 balls against the Australians. Now he's backed it up with a 50 off 32 balls against the Dutch. Oh, he's played well. Standing ovation from all his fans here. It's in the air, it could be out, and it is. That's well caught, and the end of the big hitter. He's been in good form of late. He got his 50 or 32 deliveries, but he departs now. Just the result of clever thinking by the Dutch. They've set the field straight, tried to bowl really full, tried to make him hit down the ground where they are fielders. On this occasion, the gap being behind him, so trying to get that ball to go behind him. Unfortunately, one man that's there that he has to beat, he doesn't. Hoppenberg takes a very, very valuable catch. Burke not gone for a very well played 58 of 38 balls. Zimbabwe 245 for five. The Zimbabwean captain comes to the wicket, and he's been in good form. Look at that strike rate. In excess of 75, 245 for five. And he probably need to take over now. Some big hitting. There's another big heave. Now, will he get around to catch it? Oh, great effort. It was a good effort. Just an outstretched hand. Zagarin just couldn't get enough on it. Soderant has already taken a beautiful catch in this game. Streak. Using all his power to try and heave this over the boundary. Doesn't quite get all of it. But look at the work by Zodorant. Just not quite there. Would have been an absolute beauty of a catch. Unfortunately, it's one bounce and over the fence. Four more to Zimbabwe. That would have been a catch of a lifetime. That struck powerful. He's beaten the extra cover. That'll go for four.
Van Bunga will be very disappointed with this piece of fielding. His streak hits this really powerfully, but it goes straight to the fielder at cover. That's why he's there to cut out that gap. Unfortunately, doesn't get anything on this ball. It goes straight through him. Four more for Zimbabwe. Well, he's bowling. He's gone across the line. Good innings by the young man. Comes to an end. Well, not long to go now. Dion Ibrahim also having to pick up the pace a little bit. Once not good enough for him. This time trying to play the reverse, well, the conventional sweep. The ball being way too full to play that, but a well played 32 of 41 deliveries. Zimbabwe 274 for six. The new man, Dougie Marillia. 37 matches, pretty experienced, good strike rate. Hasn't had many opportunities in this World Cup. Last match against Australia, got out first ball. And he's expected to walk in and really get the board going, ball one. This is why he's here. Trying to get around the corner, fine legs up. Probably felt a low risk, even if you miss hit it. But at this stage of the game, you've got to play like that. going to be close he's given in and yeah, missed the straight one Doug Marillia trying to play the sweep shot knowing that Lefebvre is going to try and bowl in the hole missing the ball at this stage bowlers bowling really straight if you miss the ball they're certain to hit your wickets if your pads in the way they'll hit your pad on this occasion that's what happened he's gone to sweep hit him probably hitting leg stump had to be given out he's gone just one run he got Zimbabwe 281 for seven so the new man in to tender Taibu 24 matches young man making his way in the game 60.5 is his strike rate he's done exactly that it's coming down towards the commentary area that's gone all the way and the ladder is very upset with himself a very good call, Mr. Pat Simcox. Certainly looking to double up here, heat streak. Gets a full toss right in the slot where he would have asked for it. Just to heave the ball straight back over the bowler. Straight into the side screen. He's gone again. I don't think he'll have enough on it. Last two or three bounces run away for four. And that'll bring the 300. And Street brings it up in style. And the crowd, they love it. They were looking for 300 Zimbabwe. They've got it now. Heat streak carrying on the big hitting. By Andy Blicknote left off. Not quite getting all of that. But just enough to carry it over the boundary for four. Last delivery. He's hit this one high. Mid-offs underneath it. And he's taken a good catch. And Heat streak. Well, he perishes in the last ball. So Heat Streak trying to get six off that last delivery. Gets caught out in the deep by Esvaya. And done well. Not quite getting this. Trying to go straight. The bat face opening. Only managing to hit it way up into the air. A good catch. A very good catch. Getting that under that very quickly. Heat Streak very well played. 44 of 22 deliveries. Zimbabwe, 50 overs, 301 for eight. Zimbabwe batting card, 301 for eight. They got everyone got in. Andy Flower played exceptionally well. It was a big wicket when he got out. And for Millen, 27 off 62. Well, I think it just fell away a little bit there. But then Dion Ibrahim put a good partnership together with Andy Blichner. He got 58 in 38 deliveries. Wonderful hitting by him. And then he streak right at the end, the captain. Well, he really climbed and helped himself. 44 in 22 deliveries, ending up 301 for eight in their 50 overs. The bowling figures, well, and when you see 301, everyone suffers. But Shafeli, he bowled well. Two for 43, an economy rate of 4.3. That's good. And Roland Lefebvre also picked up two for 38. But the rest, well, they toiled and toiled hard. So the target that Holland need, 302 in 50 overs at 604, and that is a big ask. Real big ask for them.
It's the richest and most hotly contested tour in the world. Look out, look out, look out. Played at the most spectacular locations. Outstanding. Live the drama and excitement. You know, I thought I'd seen it all. The PGA Tour, the number one choice of the best golfers in the world. Live and exclusive. The Ford Championship starts this morning at 8, Fox Sports 1. It's time for... Oh! Minor premiers, the Sydney Kings travel to the Tigers' cage in Melbourne for the first exciting tip-off in the NBL playoffs. The Tigers take on the Kings, 7.30 Saturday, Fox Sports 1. There are daring deals on Communicate mobile phone packages right now at Harvey Norman. Check out the Motorola T190 for a daring $159 or the Red Hot Nokia 3315 for a daring $199. To celebrate the release of Daredevil on March 20, grab a daring Communicate pack at Harvey Norman now and SMS the keyword on pack to win a Daredevil adventure in Cairns or hundreds of movie tickets and CD soundtracks. Go on, be a Daredevil. See Australia take on the Calypso Kings, the West Indies, for the Frank Worrell Trophy on Fox Sports. Or even better, you can tour with Alan Border in the West Indies in April 2003. Gulliver's Sports Travel are delighted to offer a choice of two fantastic tours visiting the Caribbean islands of Trinidad and Tobago, St Lucia, Barbados and Antigua. Call Gulliver's Sports Travel today on 07351-6466. The ATP Masters Series. It's the battleground of champions. The Pacific Life Open will once again be a showcase for the world's most talented players. World number one and defending champ Leighton Hewitt returns to Indian Wells, headlining a standout field including Henman, Malise, Sampras, and Andre Agassi, who will try to reclaim the number one ranking. Live and exclusive, the Pacific Life Open, Tuesday at 5, Fox Sports 1. Striker at 38.8. Not the greatest stats I've ever seen in the world, I must admit. But he's been put up in the order, given a chance. Shafurli. Yeah. Outside edge, it'll go for four. Over second slip. Yeah, well, that's a good over so far for the Dutch. Three overs gone, 12 for no loss. Come down, give himself room. Boundary. Well, if I was heat streak, I'd bring out a box and get the fieldsman in slips to stand on it, I think, because it's their only chance of getting a catch at the moment. When you flash, let's flash hard. Little nick here. And it's gone right over the top. Can you believe that? straight up and it's gone really high and Andy Flowers under it well just couldn't get there good effort how high did that ball go it made a little, huge amount of ground to get up and under it there there it is really try to tug it over mid on again Andy Flowers the only one was getting oh, did he get a finger on it Oh, he did all the work he did. He got a hand on it. Oh, that would have been one of the great catches. Ida today has already taken a beauty. Look at his good footwork. Started running. Made all the ground. He's getting there. He think, I'll oh, get this. Well, he mightn't have got, got a hand to it. 301 for eight is what Zimbabwe got. And to chase that, Holland have come out. And they've said, look, we've got to go hard up front. 20 for no loss. Five overs bold, some streaky boundaries, but they're still there. Inside. Oh, oh. and Andy Flower, what's he doing? Well, they've had their chances. Their best part of the game, the Zimbabweans, I believe, has been their fielding over the last couple of years, and that was one that should have been taken. Absolutely no doubt about it. Oh, he's, he's, he, must, he must have lost it. He said he can't see it. Definitely straight towards him got his foot out the way well let's just have a look i just don't think he's picked that up and all of a sudden it's nearly hit him into the shin the ultimate insult well he's cleaning up at 
last. His streak will have enjoyed this moment because he just has had no luck at all up until now. Batsman giving himself room. He's followed him. He's carried an edge early, which got put down. This one absolutely straight and has the desired effect. Well, Chifeli has to go. He's tried really hard to get a really good start for the Dutch. Hits our balls out to the boundary. On this occasion, heat streaks spot on. Very, very happy with that. He goes for 22. Holland, 41 for one. Bus Sadenritz come to the wicket uh, with a fall of the very first wicket in the Holland innings. Struggled in this World Cup so far. Does have a World Cup 50 to his name, but not in this tournament. Be anxious to make amends here at an important time for Holland. And the reason he's there is because one of his heat streaks deliveries have been absolutely spot on. And Shipley had given them a good start, hitting some balls to the boundary, but he has had his furniture rearranged here. Heat streak knocking the middle stump out the ground. The Zimbabweans will definitely be happy about his departure. In the air and should be out and he is. Sohanda's got his man. The crowd are happy. Zimbabwe have got the wicket at long last. It's Kloppenberg. He's gone to a bit of a soft dismissal. He was there for a bit of a vigil. He saw out the new ball. Just back of a length from him. He's trying to force it over the top. He hasn't got all of it. And he's streak moving around from mid-off to take a comfortable catch. That's end of Kloppenberg. Holland, 49 for two. So with the fall of that wicket, Dan van Bunga joins the proceedings. He's played seven matches. Strike rate is a bit low. Nice score of 62. And uh, a good wicket for Zimbabwe to get just after the drinks break. He would have wanted that straight away. Had discussed it. And this is why Van Bunga's here. Douglas Honda, just a normal delivery back of a length. He's on the front foot, probably should have gone back. And a good catch from the captain. That is a shot. That is the best shot we've seen from the Hollanders this innings. Cracking shot. What about the noise on impact? Absolute beauty. It was short. It was there to hit, but... Oh, that's a lovely shot. That might be the shot to get his innings flowing here. Something about Van Boogie. Pretty good player for me. Well, 62 against India. Missed out against England and Australia. Didn't bat too badly against Pakistan. Now he's away. Nine. Not out off 12. So let's hopefully he can go on and make a goodie. Well, maybe he can just do that. <laughs> he hit the bones out of that one. Boy, oh, gee. Why oh, do you need a big wicket, Fieldsman? And it's the longest part of the ground. This is beautifully hit. This is uh, a really good stroke. It's where you asked him to hit it, but uh, the fielder who took it was in the crowd. Go, 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 go. Oh, he has an impact. He is absolutely miles out. The discussion between overs, between the batsmen, has not helped the cause, whatever was said. That was desperate. Oh, it was a barbecue at the highest degree. He's just absolutely burnt Zyderant there. Cannot believe a bad mistake like that. He's just worked around the corner straight to a fieldsman. He was run out by miles. Here he is, Bambungi. Worked around the corner. Started running, realised under pressure, fantastic throw, and he's tried to slide in baseball style and wasn't successful. Can you believe that? Zyder and out for 15, and now Holland are 80 for three. Tim Delade has come to the crease, and uh, he's going to have to 
up that strike rate if Holland are going to get anywhere in this innings courtesy of a very fine piece of fielding but really it, the run just wasn't on very rash indeed well it just worked it behind here and just started running poor old Zyder lost his bat and he tried to slide in baseball style and oh just well thankfully he's worked a past him here it was a good old-fashioned barbecue just absolutely burnt him and I dare say at the end of the night's play then the day's play it was here these two might not be talking to each other for about 48 hours well chaos but he tried to throw the bat at him for the call oh by gee and that's where it should have gone too full toss shocking delivery oh it's a lolly lolly goose bomb this one full toss oh double base hit over the third base that that is out Ten him on the full you'll often see that in uh, this cricket game if the leg spinner hits the batsman full it will be given straight in front that's right Andy and a lot of people say they mightn't be out in certain pitches because if they thought the ball actually hits the hits the ground after it might have hit the boot it might have spun away but that is under the law of the game the interpretation is correctly right and that umpire looks still a bit out of cue and it's LBW Tim Delaney out for one and Holland at 85 for four Luke van Troost in the middle of the order for Holland four wickets have gone he's coming in at number six reputation of being able to hit the ball well and hard and that's what Holland need now yeah they're just asking for a helmet there for the bat pad on the leg side and the reason why he's here is the full toss there it is there now a lot of people in India and Pakistan think well if that ball might have actually spun across the across the stumps if given an opportunity but it's hit him on the full he's asking why is that out and because the umpire's just given you goodbye Is it that big ten AM? full toss hit line you're out here's a big one here's a big one with the spin into the long mid on area six years fantastic cricket shot don't have bad patters for me and a huge hit he knows that's gone all the way and that one would almost knock a possum out of a tree here do they have possums here Andy you're a local if they did they wouldn't know that's through and that'll go for four so they're putting the gas on now of the Dutch Two full tosses in a row. Douglas Morelia really failing to land him. On this occasion, not just one run, but four runs. Very well hit onto that offside. All the fielders on the offside, one just at long off, and the others in the circle. Man, that's powerfully struck. One bounce into the rope, or into the stand. Brave enough to use his feet, keep us up. Hey. He's doing a good job, is Van Trust. Hey. Well, he's going to take it to Guy Whittle. Missed out on the previous delivery going forward, not quite getting to the pitch of it, and so having to hang his bat out to dry. On this occasion, runs down the wicket and gets all of it. Catch it! Well, that goes straight to that man. It should be out, and it is. Van Trust is well caught. And Dougie Hondo has taken a good catch. But that may have looked more regulation than it actually is. Van Trust been looking to clear that boundary, the mid-on boundary, trying to hit with the spin. On this occasion, striking it quite sweetly. Not quite getting under it, and so hitting it really flat. 
swerves in the air a little bit. And Dougie Hondo has done a very, very good job of keeping his eyes on the ball and keeping hold of that. His innings comes to an end, 26 of just 25. Holland, 127 for five. Van Trist was caught by Douglas Hondo on the boundary, and that's what brought Reinhardt Scholte here. Five matches he's played. This is the dismissal. Van Trist trying to clear deep mid-wicket, or deep mid-on. That ball swerving from left to right. Great big shout by Guy Whittle. Always shouts really loud. Doesn't die wondering, Guy Whittle. Always asks the question. That pitch is outside off, but along with the angle, seems to be sliding down towards a leg stump. Maybe we'll go past it. The tender tie boy, a little bit of a giveaway going down to the leg side as well. Empire Buckner says that's not out. Quite rightly so. Shot, and I think that's going to be close. Yeah, he's gone. Umpire Buckner, he gives you the little shake of the head, the, the nod of death, and then he puts the hand up. It takes you a while. He likes to see you suffer as a batter. Big wicket. So, Guy Whittle unsuccessful with the shout just before the ball sliding. Just past the leg stump, in the, in the opinion of the umpire on this occasion. Pitches further outside, Ostam darts back a little bit. Maybe just outside the line of Ostam, but doesn't matter what I think. Umpire Buckner thinks it's out. So off he goes. Holland, 128 for six. The new man, Hank Moll. And his highest score is just 13, so he's got some work to do. 174, they need from 109. The reason why he's there is Guy Whittle's got an LBW. And it's got to be said, it might have just hit him outside the line. Tommy Mbungo said it doesn't really matter what we think. He got excited. Well, so he should have. Zimbabwe an ex-Zimbabwean player. But that is outside off stump. And I'm afraid the rule says you can't be out. Oh, there's a good shot. There's a good shot. We haven't seen many from the Dutch uh, in this last patch of cricket. That's straight over Murphy's head for four. Moving his feet, coming down, meeting it on the full mull. And a good, clean hit straight back over the umpire's head. And that's taken from outside leg. The sweep shot has not worked on this occasion. Nicely judged by Andy Blicknote coming in. Made sure that he made ground quickly. And uh, got to where it was falling so that uh, there was no rush in making the catch. Skolter persevering with the sweep shot. Appears to be his downfall here. Just behind his legs. Didn't get over the top of it. Big top edge. Nice loop on that ball from Murphy. And... Uh, Lichtnote comes under and takes a very simple catch at the end of the day. So Skolter departs. Holland 148 for seven. Roland Lefebvre, the uh, Holland captain at the wicket. The fall of the seventh in the innings. Well, he hasn't had been asked to do much at this level with the bat. Very low performance rate. This is why he's there. Spinning high off the top edge. Big note, no mistake, he won't drop those. And Murphy, who at one stage was going at sevens without a wicket, is now three for 44 in uh, his 10th over. Well, inside out, over mid-off, and it's going, going, gone. Gee, that was a big shot. That hung up in the air forever. And what a fabulous shot. He's too old. He's, he's too slow. He's not running any singles now. The ball before straighter hit straight over the bowler's head. This one wider hit wide over mid off. Bowling right through the gate. The arm ball, the quick one. Yorked him. 
And that's the eighth wicket. So Douglas Marillia successful on the last ball of the over. Roland Lefebvre trying to come down the wicket and head down the ground. I dare say hit over the fielders. Misses it completely. Cannoned into the middle stump. He has to go. A very well played 30 of 23 deliveries. Holland lose their eighth wicket for 190. Jerome Smith comes to the crease now in five matches now. 50 runs average of 16.6, which is pretty good for a number 10, I tell you. A high score of 26. And the reason why he's here is because of this. Favre down the wicket. Has to hit that over mid-wicket. Misses it totally. Cannons into his middle stump. Big hit down the ground. He got a good piece of it. There's a fieldsman under it. Will he catch it? Oh, he's gone. Didn't quite have enough club. His caddy didn't give him the right club. Well caught there by Henry Alonga. And now the last rights have been given. Let's try to hit this out the park. It's not quite got all of it. Got under it. Hit it really high. Alonga's had a lot of time to position himself. Positioned himself well. In the end, took a very simple catch. So Hank Moore goes for 23. Just one more wicket to go. 191 for nine. Here we go, the last ball. And they'll get one more to the total. Get back, They're get looking back. for two. Hey. And no, they don't. So that was a good decision. Oh, and there was an ugly bounce. So that's the last, last rights. And Zimbabwe have won by 99 runs here. Fantastic effort there for the Zimbabweans. Exactly what they wanted. Tommy. And certainly Heat Streak will be happy along with the Zimbabwean team. The fans, they came out here to watch. Saw a good game. Credit must also go to the Dutch. They didn't just come out there and try and play the 50 overs. They went after the score. Batted very well throughout their 50 overs. Got to 202 and weren't bowled out. Credit to that man in your picture, Roland Refev, leading his Dutch team. But having us all round to the Zimbabweans, a win for them by 99 runs. They won a 300, and they played very, very well. And look at that, that's fantastic. Good to see the respect and sportsmanship between the two countries. And very good tourists. They've had a great time here, both in Zimbabwe and South Africa. The Dutch they really have enjoyed themselves. The Holland batting card, well, disappointing. 202 for nine. A lot of batsmen got in, then got out. Some big hitting by Van Trist and Lefebvre at the end, but it was never going to be enough. There were 12 extras in there, and they really never put enough pressure on the bowlers. Bowling card looks good for Zimbabwe. He streak bowled well. The captain, Brian Murphy, snared three. And Guy Whittle, I thought, bowled exceptionally well. He got one wicket. The match summary then, Zimbabwe winning by 99 runs. Friday kicks off a great weekend of live action on Fox Sports. There's golf from Christchurch with the Clearwater Classic at 4 o'clock, Super 12 Rugby. And later, World Cup Cricket, India clash with Kenya. Peter O'Malley returns to Christchurch to defend his title against a quality international field on one of the toughest courses in New Zealand. Exclusively live, the Clearwater Classic, round two this afternoon, 12.30, Fox Sports 1.
This weekend from the Vodafone Super 12. He's away! The action kicks off at 4 o'clock Friday afternoon when the Hurricanes try to blow the Stormers away. Oh, what a try! Then at 6, the Highlanders will want to put the shackles on the stand beating Bulls. He's over! Saturday morning at 4, can the Brumbies finally kick out and get a much-needed result against the Clawless Cats? They had the score! 3.30 Saturday afternoon, it's the Reds' chance to rectify their bad start when they take on the Chiefs. At 5.30, will the informed Blues finally put an end to the Crusaders' 15-game winning streak? A dramatic turn of events! Sunday morning at 2... It's a try! The Waratahs look to repeat their current form when they front up against the tenacious Sharks. This weekend, Friday, the Hurricanes versus the Stormers. The Highlanders host the Bulls. Saturday, the Cats take on the Brumbies. The Chiefs host the Reds. The Blues against the Crusaders. Sunday, the Sharks host the Waratahs. Exclusively live. The ICC Cricket World Cup proudly brought to you by Han Premium Lights. You can't get the taste out of your head. Harvey Norman. The Extreme Nissan X-Trail. And Travelex, the world's largest foreign exchange specialist. of this Pool B clash between Kenya and Bangladesh. It's a Pool B match of real significance. This ground will host the final, but the, today has a huge stage for two sides which were labelled as minnows, and Kenya have emerged from that label to be on 12 points. If they win today, they go through to 16, and that virtually assures them a place in the Super 6. For Bangladesh, the side with test status without a win, it's all about credibility and doing things right for the first time in the tournament. Two sides named at the toss, which was won by the Kenyans. Steve Tokolo, unchanged from the side that beat Sri Lanka with the Otiendo and Adumbi, the stars with the bat, along with the skipper himself. And then the bowling of Colin Zaboya, we look forward to later in the day for Bangladesh. Ashrafal, Al Sadia, and Hussain at the top of the order. And Tapash and Monjaral with the new ball. Could they get some swing for their skipper? Khalid Masood. Let's join the first half hour of play. This promises to be a very even contest. 53 matches, vastly experienced campaigner. Useful average of 25.68. And the strike rate was a little quicker than that the other day. Monjarol will be taking up the attack. Hang on, lads, we're not ready. He's bowling from the corner drive end. Holding his left arm, Seamus, over the wicket. So, uh, don't be confused, that is Kennedy Otieno on strike. He's uh, just got uh, someone else's shirt on that we'll be able to see from the shot plate. Kenya have won the toss and uh, have decided the bat first and action already, first ball. Well, as we said at the pitch report, there'll be just a little bit of swing the first 10 overs this morning. There's a nick he's given him. So the star the other day has gone, and it's the swing. Good delivery. We talked about that swing. This one swung away from the right-hander. Just had a bit of a fiddle outside off stuff. It was a good ball. He drew him into the shot. The faintest of outside edges, and a simple catch through to the keeper. And...